I have been dreaming about this since I was a little kid, and you know, I never, you never really think it can happen until it happens. And I just have a lot of people to thank. I love my fiance Allie, my family, everyone in uh, Indiana, Sam Pipers in Las Vegas, Inger, everybody. So it's just, I'm just excited. So some guy named JTE calls me out on Twitter, thinks that he's some kind of American hero, some kind of American patriot because he wears a Patriots jersey. And I'm like, I'm a movie fan. I can do this. And they welcome me on the show, and I'm here to show them who's what. Am I afraid to play an Olympic hero in the Schmodown? No, because this is not Olympic sport. This is a Schmodown. This is my dojo. What happens when athletes venture out and try to do things they think they could do? Uh, James Tony, CM Punk. Sorry guys, you're getting smacked around and you're gonna go home with your tail between your legs. This is not a James Tony situation. Look, movie trivia is one thing and swimming is another thing. And I happen to be really good at both and I'm about to prove that, you know? Those are just two sports that I've been training my whole life for. I've been swimming my whole life and I've been watching movies my whole life and I'm about to prove it. Yeah, last week we talked some crap on the Schmodown show. And yeah, Cody Miller brought some heat, I guess you could call it. But if I was gonna give a medal, it would be the silver. And I would give myself the gold because I brought much better points in that argument. Listen, you're stepping to my arena. Your whole life you've been training for swimming. My whole life I've been training watching movies. You're stepping into my dojo. You're not gonna have any help. This isn't a team sport. You're not gonna have Phelps there to help you win that medal this time, buddy. Whoa, you're gonna have whoa, to bring it whoa, solo. Whoa. The Schmodown has proven you can't win individual matches. <laughs> Listen, Cody Miller, everyone out there knows I love America. So it's really, really tough for me to tear down an American hero. But that's what I'm going to do. Because it's all business when you step into my ring. I am America, and you're going to be an ex-American by the time this match is over. JTE, I'm going to prove that you're nothing more than a little boy and a little fake. You're going down. You're going down. Trivia Schmodown, and what a special matchup we have today. I'm Christian Harloff. I'm John Campy. You know, Christian, it is not every day that we can say we legitimately have a true American hero in the building, and Cody Miller is here too. That's true. We, you know, some people are probably booing you for saying that, but it is a very interesting match. Now, look, you guys have been following the Ultimate Schmodown tournament, and you have both. John Roca, the outlaw, going up against Mark Ellis. That is going to happen in ne happens next week. So in between, we decided to have a little fun match. It is not, it's not an exhibition. This is a league match. Yes, it is. But it is between the Olympic gold medalist, Cody Miller, who is here, and he's going up against the littlest of evils, little evil, JTE, who need, has not won a singles match since 2014. You know, even if this wasn't set, the events that occurred at the last Schmoes No show would necessitate this match. Yeah. That was a heated exchange between these guys. You know there's a lot of passion going into this. I cannot wait for us to get to it. I can't wait either, and you guys can't wait because you've been submitting a lot of memes. They are fantastic. Here are some of them. So there you go, a lot of funny ones. And as you would expect, not a lot of people on JTE's side when he goes after an Olympic gold medalist. I mean, there's certain things you can do and certain things you, but you know what? JTE doesn't care if the people are in his corner no, or doesn't. not. He doesn't care if people are cheering for no, him. He because he believes with 100%, without any shadow of a doubt, that deep down, they know they follow him. 
that's his belief, and he's going to carry that through. He thinks he is the champion. He is. It's like Jacob's ladder. Okay, so <laughs> let's get on to the tail of the tape. Here you go. A lot of question marks here with Cody Miller. We know that he's strong in both Harry Potter movies. We know that he is also good at Oscar movies, and we know that he's good at staying home when he's supposed to. Um, also, <laughs> you have JTE, who has 80s movies, Stallone movies, and never saying things correctly. Yeah, and too surprising, honestly. Watch out for JTE. He could surprise you. He could score sc strong in classics. I've heard him nail a couple of those before, and I expect Cody to be really strong in anything Aquaman related. <laughs> now, something that JTE has been saying that is interesting here, and I know I won't, you'll never hear me say that again, but what I will tell you <laughs> is that he's making the comparisons of James Tony, he's making a comparison yep. of CM Punk. Yeah, two athletes who who were in one sport came over to MMA and it didn't work out for him. I'd like to throw in Brock Lesnar there. Well, that's the question: Is he going to be our CM Punk or is Cody going to be our Brock Lesnar? And that's what we need to find out. Well, we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the movie trivia showdown. <laughs> Introducing first. Making his Schmodown debut, representing America. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you the Olympic gold medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, the Olympian, Cody Miller. Ultimate symbol of that. excellence Perfect. around his neck, the gold medal. Yeah, he that. has come ready to compete. He's Look ready at to this. Go. He's ready the to go. Up. You know, the silliest thing, John, that I heard someone say, they asked me if Cody was going to be, uh, uh, be scared under the lights here, and I said, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have the world watching you. I think you can handle this. And his opponent. <laughs> Representing. The Patriots, with a record of three wins, four defeats, he is the 2015 Ultimate Showdown finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, we give to you Little Evil Since 2014, when JTE last won an actual singles match, a couple of things have happened. Cody Miller has won a bronze medal. Cody Miller has won a gold medal. Cody Miller has touched the breast of a woman. All things that JT has not done <laughs> since 2014. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to get going. Competitors, are you guys ready? Yes. All right. Do you see my entrance? Of course I'm ready. <laughs> All right, that's true. <laughs> All right, here's how it works. Round one, the competitors will have six questions from six predetermined categories. They are worth one point apiece. You cannot steal from your opponent. Little Evil, you are the favorite in this match. Of course. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go first. You're going to go first. All right, Cody, category one or category two? Category one. Category one for Cody. All right, I'll ask Cody. JTE will go first. JTE, your first question. Under the category of animation. Who voiced Police Chief Bogo in Zootopia? Idris Alba. Correct for one point. <laughs> he comes <laughs> out crowded. swinging. You're booing America. They're boo they are booing him, all right. All right, your second question. This will be. Under the category of 80s, who played Professor Plum in the 1985 film Clue? Q, JT. I get my thinking. Professor Plum, is it Tim Curry? Incorrect. Good guess, but we were looking for Christopher Lloyd. Ah. Brown. Oh. Doc Brown. <laughs> All right, JTE, your third question. Under the category of action adventure, 
Which action star played the lead in the 2008 remake, Death Race? Jason Statham. Correct! All right. Let's win the crowd over. The crowd was booing him unmercifully, and now they look a couple claps. Okay. Cody Miller is up. In the category of animation, Cody, what happened to Shrek after he drank the potion from the fairy godmother's workshop in Shrek 2? Did he turn into a human? That is correct. correct. Oh, I'm Cody Miller. Like <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. All right, here we go. All right. Cody Miller in a category of 80s. This place is going to go bananas if Cody Miller wins this match. In the category of 80s movies, name one of the two songs that are performed at the FAO Schwartz floor piano in Big. See the big piano. Name one of the two songs. Correct. Five, four, three. The power of love. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> we were so looking see, for they, they know what's going on. Either here. chopsticks or heart and soul is what we we're looking for. All right. In the category of action adventure. Who plays Liam Neeson's daughter in the Taken franchise? I can see your face. Don't know her name. Mm -mm. We're looking for Maggie Grace. Maggie Grace. All right. All right, so it's two to one, very tight. After the first three questions. USA! USA! All right, JT. Your next question, under the category of dramas. How many daughters does Matt King have with his comatose wife in The Descendants? How many daughters? Two. Correct for the points. <laughs> Pulled that one out. Yeah. All right. Your next question, JTE, under the category of famous directors. Name two films which Kevin Costner has sole credit as director. Sole credit. I'm going to say Dances with Wolves and Open Range. Correct. Wow. We also would have accepted The Postman. JT that was for Roca. Very that was for Roca. Here. All right. Your final question in round one. JTE under the category of movie taglines. Willie Nelson. And Jessica Simpson star in what 2005 adaptation with the tagline "Cousins, Outlaws, Thrillbillies"? That'd be Dukes of Hazard. Correct. JT is having pulls out a, five points out of the, the impossible six. That is the strongest round we've seen JT have in a long time. Greatness brings out greatness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we get to dramas. Cody. What film set in the 1950s paired Brad Pitt and Jessica Chastain? Brad Pitt and Jessica Chastain. In the, in the 1950s. Five, four, three, two. We're looking for Tree of Life. Tree of Life. That movie sucked. <laughs> 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 the audience calls, agrees that the question sucks, and All they right. want a new question. In the category of famous directors, name two of the five movies directed by John Carpenter starring Kurt Russell. Two of the five. God. JT's cocky ass. Is, I, I do not know John Carpenter. I'm not a horror guy. I'll go sp is Swamp Thing one? I need two though, don't I? Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, we were looking for either Escape from New York, Escape from LA, The Thing, or Big Trouble in Little Big China. Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah, All right. Know. So your last that category: works. movie taglines. Which JT, please keep your mouth shut on this one. Which Stallone movie had the tagline "They went in alone. The only way out is together." JT's has bad gas. Five, four, I'm gonna go with three. Expendables. 
We're looking Good for guess. daylight. Daylight. All right. So it is five to one after the first round. JT having one of the best rounds, first rounds in a very long time in his career. Yeah, a very lopsided round. But remember this. The point difference is only four points. That can be made up very quickly in round number two. Speaking of round two, here it is. So Josh McCuga will bring out the wheel. There's the wheel. There's there Josh McCuga. There's the jacket. <laughs> and there's a, he has the Browns medal on. <laughs> All right, so Josh McCuga going pretty far in the semifinals this year in Ultimate Let's Schmona. Round two. <laughs> All right, round two works like this. The contestants will get to spin the wheel. If they don't like the category they get the first time, they can spin again, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. They have to stick on whatever their opponent chooses. Each question will be worth two points apiece unless you go to multiple choice. Then it goes down to one point. You can steal from your opponent. JTE, you're in the lead. Would you like to go first or second? First of all, I noticed for the first time we have a Harry Potter category here. Uh, that, is uh, not the that is not the first time. It's I'm been on many times. I'm uh, calling shenanigans on this because <laughs> I don't see a Rocky. Uh, but okay, whatever. I'll go first. <laughs> Josh McCuga actually got Harry Potter once before. so, And he beat you too. So. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Spin it. It's a good spin. Let's see where he ends up. And he lands on 80s. 80s films. Take it. JTE, pretty strong in the 80s films. JTE, what is Bill Murray's character's name in the movie Stripes? You need just the first name? Yes. I feel like I know it, but I'm not going to risk it. Multiple choice. Is it A, James, B, Russell, C, John, D, David? Repeat it one more time. You're going to have a quick count after this. Yeah, a, James, B, Russell, C, John, D, David. I'm going to say Russell. Is incorrect, Cody? Would you like to steal? James. Look for David. Damn. Nobody got the steal there. I love that movie. That hurt. All right. That hurt. JTE, what movie is set at Kellerman's Mountain House? Kellerman's Mountain House. Freaking 80s. Uh, multiple choice. Is it My Cousin Vinny? Dirty Dancing, Terms of Endearment, The Watcher in the Woods. Dirty Dancing? That is correct. Correct for one point. JTE, getting. That's tough. Oh, These are two right. Those first two are tough. All right, JTE. Those are tough. Those are good. <laughs> Shh. JTE, why have the aliens come to Earth in the abyss? Why do they come to Earth in the abyss? That was the question. It's like a, t there's this is like a two part question. Um, because five. Give me multiple choice because there's two answers. Is it A to share their technology, B to form an intergalactic alliance, C to prevent Earth from destroying itself with nuclear war, or D sheer curiosity? C. That is correct. Correct. All right. Another point. Yes, your last, <laughs> your last question. What is Maverick's real name? In Top Gun. Oh. You. Maverick. You are an American flag, man. Hold on. Give me a second. No Maverick. taunting from the audience, please. Uh, damn it. Five. Awful choice. Is it? Boo! Yeah, a. I boo myself. Pete too. Mitchell. B. Tom Kaczynski. C. Nick Bradshaw. D. Sam Wells. Repeat one more time, and I'll answer. A. Pete Mitchell. B. Tom Kaczynski. C. Nick Bradshaw. D. Sam Wells. D. Incorrect. C. We we're looking for Pete Mitchell. John Roca is bashing his head against the wall. I only know his Mavericks. Sorry. All right, so that's not that's that's the end of that's not the end of round one, but it's seven five. JT only coming out of two points. Yeah, in that, that was one. A that's, week, that was a that's week. really good for Cody. Cody needs to hit Harry Potter. Right. Ooh, it's a big Cody spin can here. hit Harry Potter. JT is in trouble. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's the spin. JT had a really bad second round. Right this is a gold medal spin. And it lands on. Oh, oh, it's going. oh 90s. 90s. You can spin again. If you, you have like. the option to take 90s again. or spin again. Spin again. He's going to risk it and spin it, it again. He now has to stick with whatever comes up. That looked like he was trying to go to Potter. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Action, action adventure. adventure. Okay. All right, Cody, your first question under the category of action adventure. At the end of Armageddon, what does Bruce Willis tell Ben Affleck to give Billy Bob Thornton? Oh, God. Um, 
Bruce Willis tells Billy Bob Thornton? Yes. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Sure yes. thing. At the end of Armageddon, yeah. what does Bruce Willis tell Ben Affleck, ben Affleck. to give Billy Bob Thornton? Uh, his... Wait, I can take... I can I mean, go you can go multiple, multiple choice. choice, yeah. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I know. I'm going to go multiple choice. All right, is it A, a letter, B, a medal, C, a mission patch, D, a hug? A hug. JT, you have a chance for steal. It was the patch. It was the patch. Wow. Steal of one point. <laughs> How can you hate yourself? Cody, your next question under the category of action adventure. What did Ethan Hunt yell when he smashed the exploding gum on the helicopter window at the end of Mission Impossible? Oh, God. Multiple choice. Is it A, chew on this, B, mission accomplished, C, red light, green light, D, he said nothing? I'm pretty sure it's red. I'm going to go C, red light, green light. Correct for one go. point. Yeah. Right, back in. All right. Yeah. yeah, about time. All right, Cody, your next question under the category of action adventure. Name the movie that has the following synopsis. After being betrayed and left for dead in Italy, Charlie Croker and his team plan an elaborate gold heist against their former ally. Multiple choice. Is it A, Ocean's Eleven, B, Tower Heist, C, Entrapment, D, The Italian Job? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question one more time? Sure thing. Okay. Name the movie that has the following synopsis. After being betrayed and left for dead in Italy, Charlie Croker and his team plan an elaborate gold heist against their former ally. That would be the Italian job. Correct! Nice. Yeah. He oh, took his time, points. he reasoned it out. Oh, one point. Yeah, okay. yeah, he did, he got the, uh, he okay. already heard the uh, multiple choice. Okay. Okay, your final question under the category of action adventure. In 1983's Scarface, what is Tony Montana's first job in America? multiple choice is it a bouncer b parking lot attendant c house painter d dishwasher five i'm gonna go four. parking lot attendant jt with the option for steel dishwasher correct for one point all right, so the score is nine to three going in to round three. Here is how it works. The contestants will choose from 23 categories. They will pick three numbers. They will get a one pointer, a three pointer, and a five pointer. All right, JTE, you are in the lead. Please pick three numbers. Do five, six, seven. All right, six, seven. Cody, you are also all right, Cody. 10, 11, and 16. 10, 11, 16. Cody, in a category of Disney movies, who voices the parrot Yago in Aladdin? Mm. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried? Yes! Correct. One point for Cody. For one point. All right. All right, Cody, in a category of holiday films for your three pointer. What actor plays multiple roles in the Polar Express? Tom Hanks. Correct! Correct for three oh. points! Cody Miller coming back strong here. What's the score? What's the score? 7-9. All right. All right. It Cody. comes down to this question for Cody Miller. This is his five-pointer. If he hits it, he actually takes the lead for the first time in the match. If he misses, JTE takes victory for the first time in two years. In a category of animated who played the evil judge doom in who framed roger rabbit it's, uh, christopher christopher lloyd correct yeah. There's a USA chance story. Oh, oh so my look at this. goodness. Just like that, Cody Miller coming back. Yes. It is now 12, 12 to 9, JTE with his one pointer. All right. All right. All right, here we go, JTE. 
All right, JTE, you chose the numbers five, six, and seven. Very <laughs> creative thinking there. Mm -hmm. Number five is the category of Quentin Tarantino. Ooh. God. Question for one point. How many people have colors as their aliases in Reservoir Dogs? Five. We were looking for six. Oh, man. Look at this. It's the third round has been haunting JTE. He's back here again. Okay. All right, now, we're in a situation here where he can tie this match with this three-point yes. question. All right, JTE. Your second number was six. That gives you the category and the automatic tie because your category is musicals. Man. All right, your question is... Luck hates wow. you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what is the name of the man-eating plant in Little Shop of Horrors? I'm trying to work. Five. Sandy? We were looking for Audrey, too. Audrey. Oh, my goodness. JTE comes down to the final question. The Olympian has All a chance right. to win it here. Okay, it comes down to the final question. JTE hits this question. He wins. If go. he misses this question, Cody Miller wins. It has come down to the final question. Here we go. Yeah. JTE, your third number was seven, which gives you the category of Indiana Jones. Whoa. Your question. That could be really tough. I, I had a really tough one last time for Indiana Jones. Go ahead. What is the name of Jock's pet boa constrictor in Raiders of the Lost Ark? You want the pet's name of the boa constrictor? Uh, geez, hold on, let me think. Um, five. Four. I have no idea. Three. Indy. Indy. Two. Indy. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the just continues for JTE. I mean, it just follows him around. I, you got to assume this is the last time we're ever going to see him in a singles. That a was show. such... <laughs> no, really, that was a tough... You hear Indiana Jones, and you hear that thing. By the way, the answer we were looking for was Reggie, the oh, name Reggie. of the boa constrictor, which, which was a very tough question. But you know, I bet after getting out of that pool and winning the Olympic gold medal, Cody Miller thought... Nothing will ever beat this. This will be the best moment of my life. That changed today. He is a movie trivia schmodown winner. After the first round, I I got to be honest with you. I thought it was over. I thought after the first round, I thought I thought we were getting close to a knockout. It was five to one at one point. JT had a terrible second round. Could have ended it, but. Listen, like I said before, luck hates JTE. All right, so there you have it. You have Cody Miller, who's going to be talking backstage with Josh Makuga, and JTE. Cody Miller now 1-0, and and JTE dropping to 3-5. and five. All right, to Josh Makuga. All right, Schmodown fans, our special match between JTE and Cody Miller has concluded. And I can say, as a member of the audience, it was my favorite match of all time. <laughs> Cody Miller pulling off the improbable comeback, dude. Congratulations. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much. Uh, really, really pl uh, just so stoked about how it went. Um, thank, thank you guys for bringing me out on the show. Like, this was a blast. Uh, you know, you've seen the show online before. What was it like? You know, a lot of fans and stuff, they get people get under the lights it stresses them out a little bit were you were you a little struck out there I mean I not until I actually got there until it was real you know a lot of times like I mean you're nervous about the Olympics but when you step foot on deck like that's when you know like the pressure is real and when I stu stu stood stood on this deck and then you know felt the pressure of the lights like it's real um it's 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 a real it's a real deal okay so you're down at 1.81 to JTE, you were down eight one going into uh, your round yeah. two questions. Yeah. What were you feeling? I no, I was nervous. I knew I was down, but you know, I tend to back half my races, man. Okay. I try to come home strong, finish strong, and um, you know, I managed to pass him and hang on. Um, and I was, I mean, I, I had a, quite a few chances to steal. 
and I didn't 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 nail those, and I was a little I, I was feeling it, but yeah. oh man, you're about 20 meters out, your body length behind yeah. your <laughs> your final three questions you nailed. Were any of them sitting in your head like I don't know if I know this, but I'm gonna say it. I had to get that last question because one of my all-time favorite movies is Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and I knew it was Christopher, and I was like, wait, not Christopher Walken, Christopher Lloyd. It's like I, I would have hated myself if I missed that, but I didn't crack under the pressure, so I'm real, real proud. Cody Miller, you've won here on the Schmodown. You've won at the Olympics. Uh, real question: What was a bigger highlight? <laughs> Obviously, the Schmodown. I mean, this is this is the real deal. I mean, I've seen the Schmodown belt. It's legit. Uh. <laughs> okay, so we have a final next week. The ultimate Schmodown final match between Mark Ellis, John Roca. Who you got? Yeah, oh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a nail biter. Honestly, like that could go. I mean, flip of a coin. I'm gonna give a slight edge to Baby Carrots. Yes. Uh, slight edge to Ellis. You know, but um, it's gonna be a good good match. There you heard it, Mark Ellis, uh, Baby Carrots. You got an Olympian in your corner, Cody. Thanks so much for Thank being you. on, man. It's a great pleasure. Every Everybody out there in Collider, we really appreciate it. Cody Miller, Olympian, gold medalist. Thanks, guys. All right, Schmodown fans. Uh, I'm here with JTE in a familiar position to my left, uh, losing yet again in absolutely tragic circumstances. I've never seen a comeback like this. My ultimate favorite match in the Schmodown. Uh, how you feeling right now, big guy? Great. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Give it to me. Come on, Mr. America. Uh, listen, if you came to me and said the only person that's going to be able to really beat you is an Olympic gold medalist, I'd say that's probably the only person I could believe beating me. Oh, who can really beat you? What does that even mean? Because everyone else I lost to, there were circumstances. Listen, I knew all, almost all of his answers I knew. Can you go circum? Can you explain these circumstances? Like one was caught in a hurricane, oh, one what fell down a flight of stairs. Let's go with question one. Who named the parrot in freaking Aladdin? Everyone knows Gilbert Godfrey. Who played the villain in Roger Rabbit? Come on, Christopher Lloyd? It's like his favorite film. Also, Harry Potter's on the wheel all of a sudden. This thing was Taylor made. I got Harry Potter in one of my matches. Yeah, that, that was bad luck for you. Would have been great luck for him. I actually got all of them right. Did you really? Yep. You should join Harry Potter Club. Yep. <laughs> so, JT, what everybody wants to know is you keep coming back to the singles match. Uh, I believe Einstein said it is that insanity is when you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Uh, you keep losing. Are you going to compete in the singles again, or are you just going to stick to the team match? Of course, I'm going to stick in the singles. First of all, let me say, I'm actually glad Cody won, because I would feel so bad as an American hero myself. This guy had to go to parties and events, and he'd be like, look at my gold medal. They're like, yeah, I know, but I heard you lost to JT in the showdown. I don't want that for him. I want him to enjoy what he won in the Olympics. I'm glad that he won so he could actually not be known as a loser and continue being known as a winner. I'll do that for America. I'll take the bullet. America's greatest loser, JTE. He's feeling it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for letting uh, all of us enjoy in your tragic loss yet you gotta, again. You got to lose to know how to win. And I definitely know how to win. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes, he does. I'm Josh McCuga. Back to you guys. So there you have it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, the luck continues for Cody Miller, and the, the <laughs> luck goes against JTE. I'm going to tell you right now, look, we've seen a lot of things happen in the movie Trivia Schmodown. Some people catching just the right category at the right time. I'm looking at you, Mark Ellis. Some people just catching tough thing after tough thing. Clark Wolf is a great example of that. Yeah. JTE, though, Caught a bad I'm one. telling you, it is not just today. This dude has faced some real big challenges in the movie Trivia Schmodown before, and once again, he comes up just one single question short. It it just proves one thing. God loves swimming. He does. All right, but we're also going to listen. Next week now, guys, we have the finale of the ultimate Schmodown. Now, this is something that has been building for a very long time here. The winner of this is going to play the champion, Dan Merle, in the Schmodown Spectacular. And we have one of the competitors here to get a little bit of his thoughts. We're bringing in last week's winner. There he is, the outlaw. John Roca is there he here. Comes, There's John. Gentlemen. John Roca coming on in. Come on over here, buddy. Yeah. So, John Roca, holder of one of the more impressive streaks we've ever seen in the movie trivia. Twenty-one showdown. points. Record. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, John, how you feeling going into your match next week? Oh, uh, listen, you don't take Mark Ellis lightly. You don't take Mark Ellis lightly. I feel confident, but I also am incredibly nervous because the guy 
you don't think anything he's all lackadaisical wearing the hawaiian shirts and then he slides in and answers all the questions right and like you said john if he gets the right category you can't count he's Ma- marcos he's very dangerous so are you feeling because you know he's going to crack a lot of jokes and what's yeah. the because you i've seen two versions of you there's a version where you just come in very serious you don't say anything and then there's just you don't stop talking. So which version are we going to see against Mark Ellis? I think with Mark Ellis, I'm going to come in with both versions because you got to keep him off his game. you got to unsettle him. So I'm coming in with both personalities. I think it's all going to depend with a five-round match. I've got to have different things going on at the same time. They're going to keep Ellis off his game. Roke, i got to ask you this. You are now the single lone holder of the record for most points in a single match. Yeah. At this point, with the streak you've compiled, put together, you avenged your only loss. Are you feeling that this title is now yours for the losing? I've been saying this from the beginning that I want that title. Since Bestman, I want that title. So in my mind, yes, this title is mine. Mark is just in the way. Dan Merle is just in the way. All that matters is the belt. Everybody else is just uh, bodies and bones. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is the belt. And that's what I want around my waist because I deserve to have that thing around my waist. And finally, I will avenge myself once and for all. So the drive is there. Any thoughts on the car crash we saw today? My <laughs> word. This is what I can tell you. This is why the movie the, the movie trivia tournament is no joke. You can sit back there in your computer and say all you want. Oh, I would have gotten it. would have gotten that. When the lights are turned on, anything can happen. JT knows so much about film and the fact that he blew it on those three questions. And granted, a couple of them were difficult, but he also shot himself with, in the foot with the Pete Mitchell question. There's so much there that he messed. You never know what's going to happen. So if five rounds against Ellis... That just tells you about anything could happen. I could be out of it in the first three rounds and then win it in the fifth round. You just never know. Thank you, guys. John Roca, the outlaw. Make sure you check him out. It's going to be the finale next week, the ultimate Schmodown finale. Two things that you guys have done that I've so, been so impressed with. First, mentioned it last week. The You have the Schmodown, the movie trivia Schmodown Facebook page where you have stats and things that I couldn't even imagine how much time it took to do. There's that. And then you guys have started your own podcast. It is the Schmodown Rundown. It's a true breakdown for an hour on all the matches here. Yeah, when you look at those statistics, and you listen to po- I mean, listen, sometimes there's good things to unemployment because people have the time to put these things together so i mean really you guys have done an amazing job with those statistic sheets go check it out once again guys thank you very much thank you to cody miller thank you to jte thank you for you guys and thank you for everybody who's watching today for john campia i'm christian harloff we'll see you next time hey guys if you like this video click the thumbs up button also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel it'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at collider